Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to create artificial intelligence or AI art online for free and these websites are all tested in September 2022 so they should be working good. I've got a few sites that we're going to look at today and the links for all of the sites will be in the description just below the video. We've got wombo.art replicates pixray huggingface.co's dolly mini dream studio and hotpot.ai using the stable diffusion api again these uh, links will be in the description but let's take a quick look at them and we can uh, discuss how to use them so first of all we'll take a look at wombo.art so they do have a mobile app for uh, Apple and Android. So you can uh, have this on your phone if you just wanna play around and create art. We can go down here, start creating, and we can enter a prompt there. Just for an example, we'll do a red dragon in retro futurism, create, and we just wait. We wait, we wait, we wait. And in a few seconds, it's going to create us art from our prompt. It just takes a few seconds. Here we are, it's starting to create our art. And now it's created us a red dragon in the style uh, that we chose previously. So these are the, this is quite simple. Um, you can enter all kinds of different prompts or things like that. We can do generate again if we're not happy, or we can choose a different art style, but uh, it's, it's really that simple on this one. It's really, really simple to use. And again, they do have the mobile apps as well. We'll just wait and take a look at what the second uh, one, this one's a lot cooler looking. There we go, that's a nice red dragon. I really like that one. So that's wombo.art. And again, you can download this for your uh, phone as well and play around on there and create all different kinds of artificial intelligence art. Next up, we're going to look at uh, Pixray on replicate.com. So let's try again, red dragon wearing a hat. I don't think we have to put in anything else. Let's try this out. I'm not sure how long this takes. If it's more than a few seconds, I'll just pause the video and we'll come back and see the result. Okay, I'm just going to pause here. When I unpause the video, it's actually taken about four or five minutes. And I did see uh, as I was scrolling around on this page, it did say um, that predictions typically complete within six minutes. So this one is going to take a little bit longer than the previous one that we looked at. Uh, but uh, we can actually watch it in real time as it's running this prediction and completing. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to take, but we can see it's changing the image right in front of our eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause again, and we'll see where it gets to uh, when it completes. So this is where it's at now, pausing. And this is about 60 seconds later. It's not had many changes, but it has been changed. The good thing is that, of course, you can just run this in the background. You can go to another tab or minimize the browser or walk away from your computer. You don't have to sit there and watch this. We'll pause again. Okay, it's finally completed. That was about another 60 seconds or so. Uh, so it is quite detailed if we, uh, let me see if, what happens here if I open it in a new tab, if it'll work, just to isolate the image. So that's what we've got. We can see we've got our wings, we've got our red hat, the scales. It's, uh, even though it's a small image, it's quite a bit more detailed if we compare it back to the wombo.art, which uh, this is in a cartoonish style that we kind of chose. So that's why it's more like this. But uh, this is our red dragon wearing a hat. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with the result. I don't know that I could actually use this for anything, but it kind of shows you what can be done with this. Again, this one took about 
from the time I hit submit to the time it completed, probably close to 10 minutes. Uh, so you'll want to keep that in mind. And there's a ton of settings that you can play with. And uh, this is a very basic prompt. You can be quite creative with it and you can look at examples uh, for, for more things that you want to look at. Manhattan skyline at sunset with this type of thing. So um, they've got all kinds of prompts and settings that you can play with. So make sure you read through these uh, pages to really get some ideas about uh, the limitations of what you can do. This one's really interesting. Uh, this is a nice art style. So a lot of different settings, a lot of different prompts you can play with and uh, see what you can come up with. Next, let's move on to the Dolly Mini. So this one is very, very popular, and because of that, sometimes it will time out. Let's try our red dragon wearing a hat. We'll see if we can get it to run. But it is very popular, but very simple to do. You just enter your prompt, and we'll see how long it takes. So it's just about seven seconds. I'm going to pause the video, and we'll see how long it takes. All right, so I unpaused the video. That wasn't too bad. It was only about 50 seconds in order to come up with these results. Uh, very cartoonish. Again, you can be very specific on your prompts. I'll run another one uh, just to kind of show you how much different it can be if we change the prompts. But to get, the one thing that's nice about this one is that it does give you a bunch of different examples right off the bat. Um, but again, I don't know what I would use these for, but we can be very creative. Let's run. I'm going to ch change the prompt a bit and we'll see if we can get some very different results. I'm just going to maybe change this to uh, high definition realism photograph. So let's run that. I'm going to pause the video and I will unpause when we get the results. All right, so we've got the results of our uh, red dragon wearing a hat, high definition realism photograph. And you can see definitely there's a lot more uh, realism or so to the dragons. Um, very, very interesting to compare the results here, but uh, these are much more useful for things. So you can see that the prompt makes all the difference. Play around with it. Look for examples online of how to tweak it and get better results. So this is uh, the Dolly Mini by Crayon.com. It's hosted on HuggingFace.co. Again, we're going to have the links for these all in the description. So if you just want to jump in and play around, just check out the description for the links. But we'll move on to uh, dreamstudio.ai so we can go down here and we'll do red dragon wearing a hat there's a ton of settings you can play with here uh, we do have this one you do have to log in uh, so keep that in mind this one you have to provide your email and confirm the email so before you can use it uh, but if we look in our membership here uh, we've got about 200 uh, default generations. The You can play around with the settings and make them um, more advanced, but uh, that's what we've got here. So again, this is where you would play around with the settings and the higher definition or the larger, you might use more credits. But default images are just one credit, which will give me uh, one credit per image, which will give me 200 generations. So let's try red dragon wearing a hat. But again, keep in mind, this one you do have to log in and set up your account. But you do get free credits during the beta. I'm not sure if that'll be permanent. Uh, so that was a kind of a wasted credit there. Let's try it again. Not sure where my dragon is. So it's just giving me a hat for some reason. I'm not sure why. Let's just try red dragon. It's fast, at least. That's a good thing that we can say about it. But uh, the results, not very nice. That's a cool one. So red dragon. Maybe we'll try red dragon hat. So the good thing is that this is almost instant. This is very nice for AI. But uh, we're going to have to play around with the prompts to have some fun with this. Clearly, it's not giving us as accurate towards what we got from the other ones. But it's all about the prompts there. Uh, so there's lots of things that you can play with. Again, look for examples online. And if we just refresh here, uh, I just refresh so I can get this default one. A Dream of a Distant Galaxy by Casper David Friedrich. Matte painting trending on art station HQ. Sure, let's try that and let's see what that does. Now we're talking. That's really interesting. So again, all about the prompts. Let's maybe throw a dragon in there and see what that does. It didn't do a lot, so... Uh, 
I'm not too sure if I'm happy with this or, or what, but you can see that there's a lot of potential here. It's all about the prompts. So, so we just got to keep playing with the prompts. That's really interesting. It's like a book cover that it came up with, A Dream of a Dragon. Uh, so again, play with the prompts, have some fun with it. This one gives you about 200 free generations, but you do have to confirm your email. Let's move on to Hot Pot here. So this one, again, you have to sign up for a free account, uh, but you don't have to confirm your email. Uh, so let's try Red Dragon wearing a hat. Scroll down, create. I'm not sure how long it says. Scroll down for wait time details. Uh, wait time. Creation takes 20 seconds to two minutes. And if traffic is high, it may take two to three hours for free requests. So basically all you can do if you're looking to do it for free is just hit generate. And we got lucky, I guess, because it was less than 30 seconds. A very cool uh, a red dragon there. Let's try one more. Oh, neat. So this one's interesting because it just lowers your image and you can just create, create, create. I'm not sure exactly how many free credits we have or if it's unlimited, but we do have to wait in line if traffic is really high. But let's just give it a few seconds and we'll see if it creates another one for us. I'm just going to pause the video until the image is ready. So it just created the same image. So I'm going to I'm going to try a, a different prompt and we'll see what that comes up with. So let's try realism, high definition. Let's see what that does. Just going to pause while we wait for the image to generate. So again, it almost gave us the same image. If you look at them closely, they are different, but I'm definitely not happy with uh, the result here. So I would play around with uh, more different uh, different settings and different prompts and see if it can come up with anything more interesting. I like the basic image, but it's not what I'm looking for. And I don't like that there isn't enough uh, variation between them. So if we quickly do a quick summary here and wrap up the video, we've got Dream by Wombo. This one's probably the easiest one to use and they have a ton of different uh, styles that you can use. So we just chose one, but there's a ton of different styles. So if you have a good prompt that you like, but you're not too happy with the end result, you can always click back and try a different style. Uh, we've got uh, Replicate Pixray. This one did take a while to run but uh, came up with some really interesting stuff. We've got the Dolly Mini. This one's really nice because it gives you nine different examples. Very easy to use again. Uh, and then these last two, we really have to play around with the prompts to try and get something that we're, we're looking for because we weren't getting good results. But overall, these are five different ways and that you can generate AI art for free online and this is all tested in 2022. Make sure you look at the description for the direct links. And uh, if you have any questions, add them to the comments. Make sure you do like the video, that really helps a lot. And subscribe if you wanna see more how-to videos and have a great day. Bye everyone.